We have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 today and we are doing a very specific video test, video editing test. Oh yeah, we want to really replicate the real live video editing rather than just sitting somewhere in the studio and have sample footage, right? And we have our first crash. Exactly, so when you're on the go, when you have your Samsung Tab S6 with you, you have a mid-range DSLR, what we're using today. We are using the Canon 90D shot in 4K 25p. And the video we are editing are our thoughts on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy event unpacked event on the 11th of February and our expectations for this event because we have massive expectations for Samsung and we will talk about that and stay tuned until the end so we can show you our thoughts but also in the process we show you how we edit on the Tab S6 with the Canon 90D footage we are transferring the files from an SD card via a USB-C dongle to the Tab S6 and I'm using this Apple one, it has been detected fine and we transferred it to the internal storage, to the Adobe folder. One thing we did notice already, very simple, is that the MOV files we have on here, they're all transferred fine, but they can't be seen or they can't be added to a project in Adobe Rush. So MP4 files is the format to go currently. So once we have all the files on, we start and add media and we go to the files that we want to choose and create. And it's jumped straight in, handled that pretty well. Mm -hmm. We have the timeline, stretch our timeline and our little bits of B-roll there are at the end shorter. So the first thing we want to do is find us talking. This in the URL of the event that there are the words Hubble and Bloom. Mm. The Hubble refers So what we did notice already when we're trying to do the basic cut and the file is 12 gigabytes when we imported that that's the main footage that we when the playback happens that we lose audio probably every other five seconds. Um, it needs to stop and then reload. <laughs> so let's wait for the helicopter to pass. I'm not sure if we're gonna we just finished cutting our basic cut for the 10 gigabyte file and came just above three minutes. And we're gonna do an in-depth cutting, but what was your experience so far? So far, the audio was an issue that we couldn't hear exactly mm. what we were saying all the time. It kept cutting out. Yeah. On top of that, it was super hard to do the fine tuning between issues. So the bits we'd normally blade out really quickly took a little yeah. bit longer because the backwards and forwards swiping isn't as exact as you would like. But it worked. It it works. And we have our first crash. Crash number one. We were just actually saying how playback was going quite well, apart from the audio. Mm, uh, the audio is uh, struggling, but it is doable. So we're going to put some titles on now to add a bit of interest. Ooh, yeah, we did put B-roll on and this is already struggling, but we don't give up yet. We're going to fix the audio. We're going to do some really light color correction and see how the Tab S6 handles that. We're going to keep continue and put it to the test. The Tab S6 4K video editing. We're going to video edit the entire video. If it takes all night, so be it. And we have a crash, which we is have exactly crash. what happened last time. A lot of other YouTubers I see, they are kind of complaining about the Premiere Pro application because that one crushes all the time and this is mobile right this is like the slim down version of anything and um, I'm not sure if this is really hardware issue I think this is Adobe as a software issue with the crashing all the time the question is would you really put so much pressure on a device and on your video editing on the go but that's the question if you mm. are on the go and you need to then you want to be able to yeah I mean yes of course but then if you really have these heavy tasks you should really use a laptop rather than a tablet yeah. I think so but um, we put in a to the test on purpose we put more titles on than we should we put more b-roll more transitions more cutting because there's a lot of stuff we could have left as it was apart from the titles we put on we also put a call to action on what you're doing right now it is kind of a subscribe now and leave a like and um it is already struggling but we are getting where we need to be with the top of six for sure we just want to make it easier for you guys for the overhead camera to see what we're doing and that's one of the reasons why we don't use the keyboard cover and have the keyboard coming out that would make 
the whole process slightly easier, I would say. So one thing we notice when it gets stuck and it doesn't get moving, don't wait, just close the application down because it's all saved already and then open it up and then you can edit again. I think the music may actually be an obstacle for you. We'll see, because we like to have a bit of a different music, different themes, different audio levels, but as long as we can get some bass background music, then I think I'm gonna be happy with the outcome so far. Let's see how it handles it. We have edited, we have cut, we have color graded, we have put music on, put yep. titles on, mm. and our B-roll, our Tab S6 video edited here for you now. Let's get into the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event on February 11th. Our expectations, rumors, and what we know so far. The expectations from everybody is that a new foldable device will be announced to go against the Motorola Razr. Yeah, I think when the Razr came out, that was something really cool. I personally like it. Some other people say it kind of contradicts what a foldable should be, like a foldable tablet into a smaller smartphone and not a flip phone. But I kind of like the idea exactly. and I think Motorola is onto something here and let's see if Samsung does something similar and surprises us. The main expectations or rumors come from the Galaxy Club in the Netherlands who have noticed in the URL of the event that there are the words Hubble and Bloom. Mm. The Hubble refers to the Hubble telescope and they believe this refers to a brand new camera on the S11 with five times optical zoom and with the possibility of astrophotography. Well, that sounds really exciting. And thank you to our neighbors in the Netherlands for spotting that. <laughs> exactly. Thank you well. <laughs> and the other one is bloom, the other word. Bloom refers previously, it has referred to the brand new foldable device coming from Samsung. Wow. And they are saying that the device has a clamshell fold rather than the book fold of the Galaxy mm. Fold. So they're the two main rumors and our personal expectations. I would love razor clamshell type effect. Kind of looking forward to that for sure. But you're looking for something yeah. different. I'm looking for the Galaxy Watch 2. Not the Galaxy Watch Active. I believe it is too early for the Active 3. I would take one. But the Galaxy Watch does need an update and I'm interested in to see if they keep that physical bezel. I bet that they will come up with some kind of digital bezel they have in the Active 2. It would make sense, right, for the development and taking it over. And what if they make it less meaty? Well, I don't know. I really have to see it and think about it. But there's obviously accessories. If you haven't seen our video for the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2, accessories are available left, right and center. And then you can make it meaty. But Galaxy Watch 2 is what I want to see. So let us know in the comments below what you would like to see at the yes. Samsung event, whether you would be even be interested at this stage with a foldable phone or if it's not there mm. yet. Let us know.